Hi, my name's Terry and I'm an instructor here at Trade Skills for You. Today I'm going to carry out a pack test or a portable appliance test on an item of class one electrical equipment, in this case this toaster. And the equipment I'm going to be using is the Seaward Prime Test 100, which is a battery operated device. It's very simple, easy to use. It's not a mains, you know, not a mains appliance, so we don't need to worry about that. Before I, do, before I carry out the test though, uh, we would have carried out what's known as a formal visual inspection as part of the combined inspection and testing. Would have carried that out first before we got to this stage. But I'm going to assume that uh, all satisfactory with that and it's passed that part of the test before we move on to the actual testing. So first of all, we need to turn the appliance on, the tester on. That's switched on. Plug it in. And using this test probe, attach it to the metallic part of the toaster. Get a, good, uh, get a good contact on there. And I'm gonna press the class one button. There's only three buttons on here. One for a class one test, one for a class two test, which you're not gonna do at the moment because it's a class one appliance. So I'm gonna press the class one button. And the test is carried out in sequence. The first test that's being carried out is earth continuity. The second reading that we're gonna get is for insulation resistance. And the third reading is an eye leak or a load leak test. And the results are shown on here and it's a pass. So when we've completed our test, the last thing that we need to do is fill out our records. And we've got the equipment formal visual and combined inspection and test record that we're going to fill out. I've got the IET code of practice there that gives me um, my frequency of inspection and test. So I'm going to fill it out with the, uh, the results that I've got on my PAT tester. Right, so after we've carried out the test, the last thing we need to do is fill out the equipment register and record our results. Um, I'm using the IET uh, code of practice here. Um, and we're gonna fill out those test results. You can see I've already started to fill it out. We've got the equipment um, ID, unique ID number, description of the equipment, it's class one, it's portable, uh, it's location, uh, the frequency of the formal visual inspection and testing and the combined inspection and test, it's make, model, serial number, it's rating in watts, it's fuse rating, condition of the socket outlet plug flex body, and now I'm going to fill in the actual results um, that I got on the PAT tester. So the continuity figure was 0 0.08 ohms, the insulation resistance was greater than 19.99 mega ohms, polarity was okay, uh, function was okay, it worked, and this one we're going to put not applicable there. Is it suitable for the environment? Yes or no? Yes, it is. Any other comments that we might wish to make? Is it suitable for continued use? Yes, it is. Put a Y in there and the initials of the tester. So that's a brief snapshot of how to carry out a PAT test on a class one piece of equipment. If you'd like to know or like to learn a little bit more about PAT testing, then perhaps you could join us on one of our PAT testing courses soon.